She's about to pick a good one, y'all. Mm -hmm. I know she is. This one is from Rebecca. My, I'm Boo Boo. My baby. Okay. She Rebecca asks, Boo. what is your favorite thing about Catalina and Milo? Oh, that is a good question. Okay, so I think my favorite thing about Catalina is how independent she is. She is like extremely independent. Like, I don't have to worry about. She, I don't know, she just minds her business. She does her thing, don't she? She does. She really do. And like, baby. when I'm dealing with Milo, she literally sits there and be very patient. And um, I don't know, I just love her independency. That's my favorite thing about her. I gotta agree. That's definitely my favorite thing about her. She's so independent. She's always been that way too. Like, man, she'll go grab a bottle, go pour it. Look at now, right now, yo. Oh, on the we camera. didn't lay her down for nah, a nap. We she were out laid, here. <laughs> she laid herself down for a nap. Grab her bottle. Well, no, she didn't even use no bottle. She grabbed her blanket, mm -hmm. covered herself up, and went right on to sleep. So cute. We didn't so, even know she was asleep. We did. And I went in there to beat before we came to uh, finish the vid. The bid. But I think that's my favorite thing about her, too. What's your favorite thing about Milo? My favorite thing about Milo is. Hmm. It's a couple of them. I love his laugh. That's one of my favorite things. So he's cute. so goofy. Like when he has those deep laughs, it's the cutest thing ever. Yeah, so and I like when he comes over and like pulls it on my leg. Mm -hmm. You want me to pick him up? Like he literally stands up on both of his legs just to get me up. And I'm just like, all right, I can't just leave you down here because you're gonna bust your butt. He's but so cute. He's just so adorable. Yes, I think my favorite thing about him is like, I think when he wakes up. When he wakes up, it's like. You know what? That is like one of my favorite things, though. It yeah, really like, is. When he wakes up, it's like, oh my god! It's like you know, it's he, so you know, cute. you know how you feel when you wake up. You mm -hmm. want to stretch and all that, but like he'll like give you this little cute smirk because he got you know. He some, wakes up in the best mood in the morning. He yeah, really did. He got some of daddy dimples, so like when he wakes up and smirks and looks so at adorable. you, yeah. and like, he just looks so like joyful. Like what's up? Mm -hmm. I love him in the mornings. He definitely wakes up in the best mood. That's, that's my bit. That's, yeah. that's so cute. That's my favorite thing about him. So, good question, Rebecca. Good question. Let's pick another one here. Okay. What we got? What you got? This, this question right here is kind of cool. Which one? I mean, but we sort of answered that already, too. Right? Yeah. This question was, how long did you date until you guys realized that you wanted to spend your lives together? Uh, I think total, in total, I think we could answer that question. Yeah. Um, let's see, dates. Dates is a big key word, guys. Date, yeah. not in a relationship, not in everything, guys. Right? So, uh, pre relationship, we dated for about a year. Mm -hmm. Then we were in an official relationship for about another year. And some change. And some change. And then got engaged, which. That's when I guess the question is answered. Yeah, so, so really about is, two and a half. Yeah. About two and a half years we dated before we realized like we wanted to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's a good question. Good question. All right, let's pick another one. Let's pick another one here. Let's see. What we got? Give me a second. <laughs> so, okay. a lot of questions, y'all. Good, good job, y'all. I like that. Remember, uh, if you just forgot to hit that follow button there, you know, just. It's right there. Just, just hit the follow button. You want to read this one? All right, which one? What are we doing? Oh, that is a cool question. Right? <laughs> yeah. What was the transition from Baltimore to Florida like? Um. So pre-COVID, I think it was amazing. Because for one, we left Baltimore in February. So it was still freezing cold in Baltimore. And when we came out here, it was so hot. It felt so nice. And... um. I don't know. I think that right there was the biggest transition for me. The weather from going like from being ice cold all the time to putting on some shorts and going outside. I think that was cool. It was easy. An easy transition when it came to that part. What you yeah. think? Um, for me, it was just the excitement of something new. Like, I love Baltimore. Yeah, that's my city. Like, I could be anywhere and feel comfortable. Um, but I needed something new, man. Like something new to work something for. Yeah. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I miss all my 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 boys, my friends. You know, everyone I hooped with. That's probably the hardest part. Um, but <laughs> the excitement of starting a new, 
you know, journey and uh, new challenges. It's just something fresh, you know, give you some more to work for. I, th I feel like for me, I was just waiting for Erica to be ready. And, and she was the one that came up to me and said, hey, let's do it. And I was like, really? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And I'm like, all right. I, don't know, I just feel like, um, like you were saying the other day, like how Florida really has so much more to offer when it comes to family things to do mm -hmm. together versus Baltimore. I mean, you can find some stuff in Baltimore, of course, but I just feel like we've done it all well, yeah. there. And I, I know that, I, I know no matter what city you're at, whether it's a lit city or not a lit city, Mm -hmm. um, when you're there, you, I mean, I mean, I could go visit Ohio and I'm thinking Ohio is going to be cool. Why? Because I'm never there, right? Like, right. So I think we just in Baltimore so long mm -hmm. that like D.C., Baltimore, Virginia, or Ocean City, you know, it's just like, all right, well, we got the opportunity. We're blessed enough to go somewhere else. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. You know, let's do it. Like, you know, curse you COVID. Yeah. But. After COVID. We haven't really seen much. Yeah, I think uh, been chilling, just like everyone else probably yeah, have. So uh, hopefully, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been seeing y'all be lit. Uh huh. I've been seeing y'all be lit. You gonna say no names? I'm gonna say no names, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, it's awesome no, down here, yeah. man. I, I I just wouldn't take the decision back for anything, and uh, I know it's only gonna get even better. You know, like the fact that we can just get out the house and go to a good beach and eat some good Hispanic food. I love it here. Jamaican I really Jamaican food. And that's why they have I, that's why all, they lose some weight now. All about types food. of food, like <laughs> the Caribbean. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so, but yeah, y'all. So uh, no, the transition was great. I think, um, and it helped that we were on like a good, solid break before we moved out here. I mean, we went to mm -hmm. Ecuador. Yeah, all that good stuff. And then you had that big project, so we were like going traveling around. everywhere doing yeah. my project. We went going to LA, Chicago. We went everywhere before super here, so that was it was super lit. So. Good question. Good question. Um, so what you think, Shuis? Do you want let's more? Do, uh, let's do. Let's do one more. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Uh, uh oh. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> that is me. Hello, buddy. What's wrong, buddy? And we think? are back. We are back. <laughs> and Say look hi, who Milo. with us. Hi, buddy. Say hi. Hi. He just woke up from a very, up, very short nap. Yep. All right, y'all. This is Milo, by the way, guys, in case, you know, you guys didn't see him in the pre- uh, Instagram stories. Instagram stories. <laughs> he's, he's the star of the show. All right. Yeah, he is. So, Milo, we got another question, buddy. You want to join us for this question? Are you going to act okay? Ajiva, <laughs> bye. He's like, I guess. I am. He's like, I mean, um, I guess. <laughs> All right, buddy. One more question, y'all. Because Milo is, uh, yeah, he's chilling right now. We're going to take advantage <laughs> of that one more question. I'm going to let Miss Miss Zambrano here pick the last question because I'm not an iPhone guy, guys. <laughs> I think, you know. Mm. Team Android all the way. I know my brother Leo is probably like, you need to get an Oh, how is it so sunny and you hear thunder? That's, oh, what, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Hey, okay, Papa. I dream your boy. Papa, you woke me I'm up. Not sure you, should we answer this one? Yeah, that is a good question. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, you know what? Like, uh, I don't know. I never had that. Probably. Okay, what is your favorite thing to do as a family? All right, that's a good question. All right, here we go. Uh, you want to go ahead? Sorry. I mean, okay. Right. Um, I feel like um, I'll, my favorite thing to do as a family is going to the beach. I feel like we just have the best time there besides me though eating as much sand as he possibly can. Trying, right. Um, we just have a blast there. Mia loves oh it so gosh. much. She will stay there literally all day. All day. So it's like... She, if she's like getting tired out at the beach, by all means, have fun, baby girl. It's yeah. just a, it's just free and it's easy yeah. and yeah, it's not too bad, not, not too much for work. Yeah. Besides, Milo start eating the same. But other than that, <laughs> what do you think is your favorite? My favorite, favorite thing to do as a family definitely it's gotta be the beach. Yeah, yeah you're right. Like, I love going to the beach, mm -hmm. um, especially when we. Have, I'm a, I'm a big have everything ready guy. Cause they use me as a mule to carry everything. Yeah, we do. So uh, yep. 
But I love going to the beach, right? It's just, I'm gonna record one of these moments, y'all. I'll be really like having everything on my back. All right, but I love going to the beach um, because it's just, it's just nice, you know, spend with them. Mia loves it. Milo loves the sand. He just gotta keep it out of his mouth. But yeah. <laughs> I think our favorite thing to do as a family is definitely the beach. Um, I love traveling, right, pre-COVID. You know, so obviously I can't say that right now, but tune in and uh, I'm sure we'll start traveling again once all this is over. But yeah, so that was good questions, y'all. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I hope you guys are having a good time. And from me to you, thank you. Follow. All right. Please subscribe, subscribe y'all. And um, tell your friend. Tell your friend, your family members, tell them all to follow us. Yes, I like that. Right? Yeah, I like that. Go ahead, yeah. And just comment below which I want to yeah. see in the future, any challenges, yes. anything. Just put it down in the comments and we got y'all. Definitely, y'all. <laughs> um, subscribe, guys. All right, it's, it's right there. Just, just hit it. All right, <laughs> and then put your comments and the like and all that good stuff, you know. And Yeah, let us know what you guys want to see. What kind mm -hmm. of material you guys want to see, what content. Yeah. Q and A's, uh, anything. All right, yep. a lot of blogging. We're gonna do a lot of blogging, share experiences. Um, I feel like we're gonna do something with the kids too. We're trying to incorporate them somehow with just their own little YouTube video daily. Somehow, yeah. we're gonna figure hey, it out. Oh no, definitely. Like the stories, y'all. Like tune in on all the stories. I think we can do um, YouTube stories now too. So what? Yeah, Get I think out. so. Not That's, at. That'd be cool. But yeah, guys, tune in for the stories. Like. You know, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start blogging a lot more on my trips uh, when I'm by myself, missing these guys. Um, I wish the COVID stuff wasn't happening so they can go with me, but it'll be some days when we're apart, sadly. <laughs> but uh, I will have a king bed to myself some of those nights. All right, you ain't gotta rub it in. All right. Uh, <laughs> anyways, y'all. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, again, follow us as a Brano Journey. Yep. Right. Mm hmm. And our Instagram is the exact same as well. Yes. Zambrano underscore journey. All right, y'all. All right, thank you. Milo. Thank you what, for watching. What, what are you doing? <laughs> See, I'm checking out my huh? sister on the video. Okay, I did too. Papa, it tastes so good, Papa. I can't help myself, Papa. All right, man. All right. All right, y'all. See y'all later. I will give you a big high five, but Milo's holding your high five. What? All right, y'all. Tune in the next week.